And the Reds have only beaten the Hurricanes twice in New Zealand in the professional era, never at Westpac Stadium. But James Hall says that means nothing ahead of what is a must game. It's a milestone for the skipper. His 100th appearance for the Reds is Greg Clark. Well, James, 99 provincial caps for Queensland, including 95 Super Rugby games. You made your debut at Suncorp Stadium against the Waratahs. It was week one, 2006. What do you remember about that game? Uh, I remember it was Wendell's first game for, for New South Wales after he, uh, he left Queensland. And uh, it was our first official home game at Suncorp Stadium. Before that, we'd played Ballymore and, and obviously at Suncorp occasionally. So. I just remember there was about 45,000 screaming fans uh, saying not so nice things about Wendell. And uh, yeah, it was a big game. And I remember Rocky scoring right at the end to, to secure the game for the Tars against us. You're a BBC, Brisbane Boys College old boy. You played for Queensland Uni. Was a professional rugby career always on the cards? Probably not, no. I think it was probably more, it sort of, I got it accepted into the the Reds Academy straight out of school and that, that's sort of all the Reds College as it was known then and that's that's probably when I thought to myself that you know I could probably take this as, uh, as far as I could. The Queensland Reds Super Rugby Champions in 2011. Yeah that was uh, you know a year that you sort of you know, I'll, I'll never forget it's a special moment the fact that the, the game was here at Suncorp the final we had you know set a crowd record for that that stadium and uh, you know, just the, the atmosphere around town you know, leading up to that, that week was uh, something I'll never forget. Now you're not there to score tries but you have six to your credit in Super Rugby. What's your favourite? Favourite try? I think we had one against the Stormers would have been 2012. I think we'd, we'd put in a plan in place to try and get them to throw an overthrow from a five metre line out. And uh, I'd, I'd sort of told our defensive coach that the, if we do this, we'll get the try. And he didn't. He was sort of tentative, and then we did it, and it turned out exactly like I planned. I, I hit the ball, and it just fell over the line. So I, I was pretty happy about that one. What about injuries? You've had your fair share of them. You know, while it is incredibly disappointing to be injured, and it's a frustrating time for any athlete. You never like to see anyone on the sidelines. You know, you just got to. I guess set yourself little goals and just keep pushing and, and understand, you know, the drive has always been there for me. I love the feeling when you run out onto the field and, and there with your mates and obviously when you get the result, you know, the, I don't think there's anything in the world that can replicate that feeling and that's probably the, the thing that drives me is to, to get that feeling and, and, you know, continue to turn up for the Queensland. Well, this Saturday, the Reds are back in Wellington taking on the Hurricanes, a bogey team for you on New Zealand soil over the years. The Reds haven't won over there for 15 years. It'll be nice to break the drought and keep your hopes alive in 2014. Yeah, you know, that's not a nice stat to hear. You know, we've been, I remember, we've been close twice and, and got run down in the final post. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we need to win over there. Obviously, you know, not only to break that, that record, but obviously to, to where we sit in the, on the standings. It's an important game for us. So the boys understand that and, uh, you know, hopefully we can go make some history.